Welcome back. In this demonstration, we are going to start making the body pieces for our big bug collage. In the last session and in class, we talked about an insect should have three main parts. It should have the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Today we're going to make those three parts. But before we get started on that, I want to talk about a few vocabulary words. First of all, we're going to talk about the idea of shape. In our lesson today, we're going to use two different kinds of shapes. You're going to use either a geometric shape or an amorphous shape. A geometric shape is what we would consider mass shapes, like triangles, rectangles, squares, but geometric shapes can also be more complicated. The only definition for that is that it has flat sides or edges and points. So this shape here that I've made for the head is a geometric shape. The other kind of shape, an amorphous shape, is one that has no edges and no points. Usually it's blobby or wiggly. Sometimes they might have a point kind of like this one, but usually they're kind of blobby, wiggly, and they have no defined form. So this thorax and this abdomen here are amorphous shapes. In today's lesson, you're going to make at least one part of your insect geometric and at least one part of your insect amorphous. Now, the second vocabulary I'd like to talk about is color. In this lesson, we are going to focus on the warm colors and the cool colors and how to use those colors. So the warm colors are red, orange, and yellow, and the cool colors are green, blue, and violet. You are going to choose three colors for your insect, for the body. So here you can see I've used the warm colors, red, orange, and yellow. You could use the cool colors, which is what I'm going to use today, like this one, blue, green, and violet. All right, today I want you to choose those three colors. So right now, I'm gonna pause the video and you choose those colors. Good, now at your table, you're gonna have three pieces of paper, red, orange, and yellow to use, and you're gonna have three pieces, green, blue, and violet to use. The colors might vary a little bit depending on what I have in my class. But you're going to use those three papers, and those are the only papers you will have for this project. Lastly, I'd like to talk about symmetry. Symmetry is whenever something is exactly the same on both sides. So the first shape that might come to mind for a lot of people is a heart. It's symmetrical. It's the same on both sides. The second idea that usually comes to mind is a butterfly. Butterflies are usually the same on both sides. So, taking that into consideration, you can look at our example and you can see that the head is the same on both sides, the thorax is the same on both sides, and the abdomen is the same on both sides. To do this, we are going to need to take our paper and fold it in half and then cut it. So, let's get started. Here is what we finished in our last session. We made the circle for our collage. We made sure our name was on it, our teacher's homeroom name, and your grade and section. Now, to get started, we are going to use a piece of paper for the head. This is a blue piece of paper, and I want my head to be maybe two to three fingers wide. So I'm gonna take this short edge, and I'm gonna take this piece, and I'm gonna fold it over so it's about that wide. Now, I'm gonna crease that, and if I start by making a heart just to make a demonstration and I cut out this little heart shape notice how I've drawn this shape and it doesn't necessarily look like a heart yet but as I cut this out once I open it up and you look at the fold it's a symmetrical shape okay now as you start to make your head you're going to decide what you want your shape to be and how you can make it symmetrical I'm going to start with a geometric shape, okay? And I'm just gonna draw a horizontal line, diagonal, 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 straight down. Uh, let's see, another out here, in, down, and back. Now, this is half of my head. When I cut it open, it's going to be even larger. So I'm just gonna start and cut this out. And when you cut, you want to make sure that you save the fold. Do not cut away that fold line where it is stuck together. 
otherwise it will the one piece of paper will fall apart into two pieces and it will no longer hold its symmetry okay so here's my one shape that I drew out now if I open it up you'll see that I have a symmetrical geometric shape all right so this is going to be my head shape now I'm gonna move on to my body shape all right, I'm going to set this blue sheet of paper aside for later, put it into my folder, and I'm going to create my body shape. Now my body shape, I want to be just a little bit larger. So instead of three fingers, I'm going to fold over about four fingers. And I'm going to crease that, and then I'm going to draw my shape on. Now, this line of symmetry should line up with the fold of this paper and that line of symmetry. So I'm just going to set it right in here so I can imagine it. And I want my um, my thorax to be a little bumpy and curvy. So this line that I've just drawn is going to turn out to be symmetrical and it's also going to turn out to be an amorphous shape. Now I want you to take a minute and draw this line on your paper to make an amorphous shape. Now I'm going to come around and check your amorphous shape. Once I give you the OK, you can start to cut it. Now while I cut this out, again I'm being careful to make sure I, uh, I'm using good cutting skills and I'm making sure that I save the folded edge here and I try to remain uh, careful with this side so that I can use it for more shapes in the future. I'm going to set that aside, open this up, and you'll see now my amorphous shape that is also symmetrical. Now I'm going to end with my abdomen. My abdomen I'd like to be even larger and almost go down to the bottom. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to actually look at this line. I'm going to fold it so that it's I'm certain that it's big enough for my insect. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, lay this piece right here so that I can kind of imagine where my insect is going to be lining up. Now, this insect is going to start here. I want it to come underneath the paper, and I want it to go out past the edge of this paper, and I want it to, hmm, I need a little bit more. I need mine a little bit wider, so I'm going to refold it. There we go. That's better. All right. So again, starting at this edge, I want it to come out past there, and I feel a little lump of paper. Now, this is going to go off of my circle, so I'm just going to have to readjust this. There we go. Now it's going to be on my paper. So I'm not going to do this line down here. At the bottom, I'm going to do that top one. And this line should fit right into that last little bit there. Okay, so I'm going to cut it. Now you might end up needing a little bit more of this abdomen paper. If you do, we can get more paper if you clearly legitimately run out of paper. But I want you to try to be careful and not waste paper. Okay, setting that side apart. Now I open this up and this is my abdomen shape here. Now I kind of, yeah, I like that. That's a good, that's a good sh shape. Nice and amorphous. This can go on top and then this can be the head. It's almost a little too big so I can slide this down and have it overlap and I can slide this underneath and have that overlap as well. And then I can have that shape all inside of my circle. Okay, so now getting started with the gluing process. While you're gluing, make sure that you are being conscious of getting enough glue on the back. And as you're gluing, make sure that you are having a paper towel next to you to wipe your finger on. Okay, so if I set my supply and my other supplies aside, here's my gluing. Now, as I always say, think of your overlapping how you want things to overlap and how you want them to look. I want this green portion, the thorax, to be on top. 
So I'm going to set that aside first. And I want my abdomen to be underneath. So I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to take my glue bottle. If you have a tap and glue, uh, tap some nice dot dot bunny hops on there. And if you have a regular glue bottle, you can take it and put a small amount on. And then remember, for a collage, so that the paper doesn't buckle and bend, you want to make sure that you smooth out the glue so that it doesn't just uh, glob in the center. Then wipe your finger, flip your paper over, and arrange it nicely so that you're going to have enough space to maybe add some wings or something else. All right. Now there's my abdomen glued on. Now I want my thorax to be about here and my head to fit on top. So I'm going to just mark the top of where I want this abdomen to be right there on my paper. You can kind of see that if I bend it up in the light because I want to make sure that I don't glue it on too high. Also, I want this head to be glued in about right there. So I'm going to just mark a little spot right here so I can know where that head should be glued down. Now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my head down first so this little neck piece is behind my thorax. So I'm going to flip this over so I'm gluing down the back. I'm going to rub my glue around so my paper doesn't buckle and bend. Wipe your finger on your paper towel. Now I'm going to turn this one over so it lines right up with that line that I wanted. Okay. Now I can take this thorax and glue it right on top of there. So I'm going to flip this piece over and as I'm gluing this I'm going to be thinking about wanting to slide something underneath the edge of this. I want to make the same kind of like beetle wings that I have here and I want to slide these beetle wings underneath the thorax. So I'm just going to glue the top portion of my thorax down and leave the bottom portion um, unglued so that I can lift it up. If ever you want to slide something underneath part of your composition, make sure that you don't glue it down so that you can slide it up later. So here is my thorax, gluing down the top of it like that, and I'm going to leave this bottom part open so that I know I can glue underneath it. Okay, so this piece is just, it's, it's just sitting there. I can glue it down later, but if you look at it here on the side, you'll notice that I have not glued that part down. Okay, so that concludes how to cut out and glue down your three parts of your insect, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. To do this, we have learned and talked about the following things. We talked about shapes, geometric and amorphous shapes. We talked about using three colors, either the warm colors, red, orange, and yellow, or the cool colors, green, blue, and violet, to create those three body pieces. Then we talked about folding your paper in half and cutting the shape so that you end up, when you open the paper up, you have a symmetrical shape. Okay. And that is how we conclude cutting and gluing the collage pieces for our big bug collage.